All right, all right. Got ourselves some fully upgraded armor. Uh, somewhat upgraded weapons. Started bailing on it just because it just... I'm a bit of a slog. Let's go kick off this DLC. Oh, wait, before we do that, hang on. Almost forgot. There we go. Um, perfect. I'm going the wrong direction. We're still in dynamic mode or a performance mode, and it's just, just, just pre still pretty. Let's get upstairs. Oh, no, he's out here. That's right. Oh, sad silence. Yeah, your voice actor. Suddenly passed away. It sucks. So this is where Tilda tried to reel you in. What was her proposal? That together you could save the planet? Just as your precious genetic mother always wanted? I believe the old ones called that a bait and switch. <laughs> Luring you with the promise of a vibrant new world. When in reality... It's doomed to be cracked open by nemesis and scoured of life. If you're trying to get a rise out of me about Tilda, it's not going to work. And if you really believed we have no future, you wouldn't be here. And perhaps I'm just waiting to see if you can once again achieve the impossible. Speaking of which, my preparations for nemesis have revealed a new problem. I've been searching the remains of the Zenith base for any data that could help us. In doing so, I discovered that 13 of our spacefaring friends descended to Earth from the Odyssey. But we only found 12 corpses total, including Verbena at the biotech lab. Your math is impressive as always, but mm. yes. It appears that one got away. His name is Walter Landra. In the 21st century, he was an aerospace magnate, but also a bit of a celebrity. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that he's far too dangerous to be allowed to roam free. You need to find him and deal with him. You said you've been searching through the Zenith base. Did you find anything that can help against Nemesis? Yeah, like, I why can I go through the Zenith base? Powerful technologies from the Zenith, the ancient past, or both. And with such knowledge in hand, we might be able to build a weapon to hurt Nemesis in a way that it can't currently anticipate. Surprise attack? I like it. Don't get your hopes up. I found a few leads, but nothing concrete. It would be a long search, I fear. So Landra made his fortune by selling spaceships? Not exactly. Building them. He built ships and drones that could mine near-Earth asteroids for rare metals, generating untold riches. I'm starting to see why you're worried. Indeed. Thanks to us, he no longer has access to the Odyssey or the Zenith base, but he likely has extensive knowledge of potent old world technologies. As such, he represents both a threat and an opportunity. You think he might know about something that can help with Nemesis? It's possible, yes. You said Walter Landra was a bit of a celebrity. What does that mean? Though he made his money in aerospace, he put vast sums into the production of holographic entertainment. In fact, his wife was a famous actress. The two of them were often featured in tabloids and other media. Tabloids? A type of uh, a news outlet that tracked the personal lives of celebrities. <laughs> allowing Gossip brags. fans to live vicariously through the rich and famous. Oh. 
Yuck. Very much so. So where do you think Londra went? The coast, far to the south. The area wrecked by tectonic shifts and volcanic activity. The few Tanakh who have ventured there refer to it as the Burning Shores. But a thousand years ago it was called Los Angeles. Mm. A hub for the technology and entertainment industries. Londra's space mining company Heaven Sent was headquartered there. It stands to reason he would retreat to familiar territory. I'll send you the coordinates. So, are you ready to track down our rogue zenith? Okay, to the burning shores then. Proceed with caution, Eloy. I suspect Londra is even more devious and resourceful than the other zeniths. Aw, oh, silence. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were actually concerned about my safety. Mm. You're a powerful weapon. Skilled fighter. Oh, I don't fight there hey, automatically? I hope I haven't caught you in the middle of fighting a giant machine or something. <laughs> hey, Beta, I'm actually on my way to the Burning Shores. Oh, right. Uh, Gaia and I heard about your mission from Silence. Be safe, okay? We'll be here if you need us. We'll do. I wonder if we can go back and forth. You could in the Horizon Zero Dawn. And apparently, all the farming I did in this is it. Laundra's headquarters shouldn't be post game. I'm already max level. Shit. Oh. I bet that'll teach you how to use that as an actual shield in the DLC. Were you actually flying just now? Yeah, just uh, not my best landing. Oh, Damn. hippopotami. Machines. Oh. Well, I guess her name is Sekla or Sekia. Stay back. I'll handle this. Seika. Hold on. I can help too. Let's see what you got. This isn't gonna do much. See those glowing crystals? Takes one hit to detonate. Yeah, okay, got it. What the hell? What am I getting hit by? Wow, I can't even see. Oh, that's why, because he did that. Shrek. 
Oh, we'll keep easy loot on. Ghost level 61? Well, that's interesting. What does that mean? Make sure, hang on. Yep, alright. Oh. I shot you in the booty. Oh, you know how to hold your own. Oh, she was the one putting the canisters out. Aloy, I could uh, say the same about you. You have a focus. So you're Quinn. You're not exactly like any diviner I've met. How do you even know that? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but first... Just one for now. I saw you before you crashed, flying on a sunwing. It didn't yeah. look like you knew about that tower, which means you're new. So what brought you here? I'm looking for someone. There's a ruin. On the hill northeast of here, that's where I was headed. The ruin on the hill. You mean Starlight Rise? You know it. Is there another way to get there? Maybe. But first, we're gonna have to do something about that tower. I think we can help each other, Aloy. The tower's not far from where my people made camp. I can show you the way. Uh, hold on. You said we can help each other, but what exactly are you doing here? Let's just say I need that tower dealt with too. Come on. Cryptic. Wait, what's the pink stuff? Hold up. Wait, 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 go back. What's the pink stuff? This way. Follow me. We'll have to take my skip to get to the settlement. What were you doing out here anyway? Oh, that shit blows up. Okay. Thing to find here. Like fire gleam, but more volatile. I could give me an edge in the fight. Aerial capture. Okay. Well, we'll have to come back. Hmm. Oh god damn, that hurt. And that was even fully upgraded. Jeez. The armor. Okay. Where did she go? Well, I mean, if there's something here, we're gonna leave and go ashore. Let's let's do it now. I'll be back. Gonna go exploring. Bye. Oh, thank goodness for auto run.
Wrong, uh, wrong button. Early get some badass weapons in this DLC. And in zone? Interesting looking ruin. Wonder what's inside. Enter code? Huh. Only a code to get inside. Data says someone carved their code at the top of the nearby tower. Which tower? Can't hook onto that. It's gonna be like an. Uh, See if that code's still up here. It's gonna be like an address. Oh, that's really cool. One 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 four six four. Okay. Dumbmorphodon, Pangea. Ooh. Well, Mayor Jane, we're in her first day in Port Tech. She employee number 4331. Little, little did she know she'd be facing deadly Dimorphodon. Mere hours later, the first administrative defeat in combat. Sounds like something. Jane for president? Nice. There's data here, too. I'll just hold on to it for now. Plus one Pangea Forever Face Paint. Kill points. Okay. Whatever. Let's go get that. You have found a vile, found a piece of brimshine, a rare and valuable resource hidden among hidden in the burning shores. Brimshine can be used for upgrading certain weapons, outfits, and trading specific merchants. Also, it's like the green shine stuff. Just something else now. Great, another currency. Okay, nothing else over here. Hmm. 
game didn't know what I was doing. It's like, what are you doing, bro? Alright, beware of the pink shit. That's... That's what we need to know. How do I get up there? That's, that's sweet. Oh, that's a tribute to Lance Reddick, the voice actor of Silence. Are these the developers? Music change too. small island, so... How do I get to it? A large metal clamp. Give it a try, I guess. Use an unlock weapon. Tap tap me. Oh, unlock. What? What? To unlock. To use an unlock weapon. Weapon technique. Tap. What? I'm confused. Weapon technique? Um, I guess maybe I'm not supposed to open this yet. I got two points, so... I need five for that. I need three. Okay, everything's... Okay, everything needs at least three or five. Okay, well, we'll get them unlocked. Well, I guess we'll end up coming back, I imagine. Wait, hold up. What is this? I'll tell you what, sometimes the, the, the climbing's a bit potato. Okay, so... Oh, fuck! What the... Game. We know I got run on, but damn. You know, you'd think they would be, they'd have, uh, like a... Like a drop catch.
Oh, that's what I was saying. Drop ledge. There must be something I don't have. Let's see here. Hmm? I don't know. I guess we'll find out later. Something's really strong. Looks like a boat. We get the supply cash. Level 15, no wonder I decimated him. You're back! Let's move! Here she is. I just need to attach this component I picked up. Hold tight. I've seen a boat like that before. Me and Aguirre head back at the settlement, roped it together. Works well enough. That'll do it. Skiff's good to go. All right. Hop in. I'm assuming we're gonna head to the village. Or a village. 